Hey, you guys. I'm here to share the love story I promised from my post a couple of days ago where I wrote that love is the answer no matter what the question and that I have a beautiful love story to share as an example of that theory or that premise. And so recently I was away on retreat and I got there a couple of days early as did a bunch of other people. And the first night, a bunch of us gathered and had dinner together. And we were also there and at the table was also the leader of the retreat. So that was really cool. And there was this one woman in particular, we'll call her Nona, who was in really a bad space, okay? So we were all sharing at the table and coaching each other. And the leader of the retreat was also, you know, coaching those who wanted guidance, which was really generous of her. And so Nona was shared that she was in a really bad way, that she had been, that she was depressed, that she'd been this way for some time, that she had feelings of suicide and often regularly and that she had these demons in her head that were terrorizing her, right? And actually instructing her to kill herself, okay? So this is not medical advice. This is a beautiful love story about how love is the answer. And so... Nona got some coaching from the teacher and me, and she was really stuck and deep in her victim story, okay? So she was like, there's nothing I can do about this. This is what I hear every day. This is my battle. This is my story. She was really in it, okay? She was really in a bad way. And at the end of that conversation, right, at the end of dinner, at the end of that night, we were out really late that night, you know, we left her with, right, now it's time for you to choose a new story, okay? So that was actually before the retreat began. So fast forward, we go through the retreat, and no, no, like a, a group of us, you know, that group at that table that night bonded together together. And we were kind of inseparable, separable, but inseparable during the weekend. And Nona was a part of that group. And I got to say, she was really a challenge. <laughs> okay, she was really a challenge. And we loved her. Okay, we loved her anyway. We loved her through it. So at the end, on the last day, I think it was the last night, right? So it was the last night and then we were going to get together. It was our last night there. And then we had one more morning of session and then we were leaving, right? And I have to back up a little bit, right? So actually the last day, I notice that Nona is, she's completely transformed, right? She is smiling, she's happy, she's upbeat, she's making plans, she's friendly, she's sharing, uh, she's sharing some, she's sharing her personal gifts, she's sharing gifts. Um, hey, Christina, good to see you, girl. Uh, she's, she's sharing um, physical gifts that she's got with her, with the group, like essential oils and flowers and things. And she's really like, she's a completely different person from the person that was deep in a depression and suicidal that first night. So that night we all, you know, our group gathered again, we were having coffee and I, you know, she and I had a moment and I said to her, I said, you know what, Nona, you are, you are completely different from the woman who arrived here Thursday night that I had dinner with Thursday night and that we had dinner with Thursday because we were like a group of seven or eight, nine with the teacher. And I'm like, you're completely different. You've completely transformed. And she said to me, it's because you loved me. And she meant me, but she meant like the collective you, right? So including 
including me. And I was, I was really taken aback and I was like, wow, how powerful is that? That because we loved her, we included her, we accepted her without judgment and we, um, what's the, what's the word I want? We held her accountable, right? We held her accountable to what she said she wanted, right? We didn't, we didn't fall victim to her victimhood and we just loved her. We just loved her through it and she completely transformed in that weekend and this is the power of love, my friend. Yes, the power of love and accountability. So yeah, Christina, right? And so, and I'm going to pick it up there next time or in a future video, probably next time, right? Because it's so easy to have a powerful shift when you are in a controlled environment, particularly like on a retreat. And in my next video, I'm going to share how to sustain that. Okay, but yes, that is the power of love and accountability. Okay, I hope this serves you. I love you. I will see you in the next video. And until then, I'll see you in the gap. Mwah.